Welcome to today's PvP challenge. In this episode, there's three hours on the clock, but every hour we have to use a different Barrow's gear setup that we spin for. We are also allowed to use the Amulet of the Damned and unlimited house teleports during our progression. To focus strictly on combat, we are not allowed to use any resource skilling methods, but we do have other skills unlocked to process our drops. We gear up, then we fight. All right, guys, so we have three hours, of course, on the clock. Let's see for the first hour what Barrow's item we are given. Oh, I'm nervous. This, this of course, could change everything. We only get... Oh, my God, it was so close to Torag. Torag, honestly, probably the worst one. Carol could arguably be the best. I'm actually beyond stoked because even with the Amulet of Damned, this thing is pretty fucking insane. There is a 25% chance that each bolt hits double, the second hit being half the damage of the original hit. So this could be arguably the best DPS. Darok might have that beat. So the first place we're going to is Necrols, everyone's favorite place, but has to be done. I think the big selling point about Carol's here is that it is specifically for low defense monsters, and I think we're gonna hit pretty hard. Now, some Slayer monsters are actually off limits because we have to wear the full set, of course, so things like um, Dust Devils can't really kill, but the Greater Necrols, they don't really have that much defense with the effect of the Inlet of the Damned and the full Carols, I still think we'll be pounding through them, and we might even be able to safe spot, at least for the most part. I know those little minions might hit me, but I think it's going to be pretty easy killing is the point I'm trying to make. And we finally get the first alkable, 15 kills in. I was starting to get nervous. We're getting a lot of runes. It's almost like saying, Rar, go magic, go magic, go magic. Um, but I guess technically your second alkable, we do have that kite. But ultimately, the first 100k I get, I actually don't want to spend on any shops. I want to use it to get in the rev caves. And hopefully we can get in the rev caves sooner rather than later because all the revs have really low defense. And I know the carols will absolutely hit right through them. We have like Torag, for example. I think Torag would struggle a lot to kill, you know, the orc, for example. And if I do end up in Torag in the next hour, I'd be stuck killing like the Pyre Fiends. And it's a very slow weapon. You can heal right over. I think it'd get very messy, very quick. Plus Torag doesn't have any magic defense, which, you know, we can get frozen, tele blocked. I just think Carol's is the best thing to have at revs. So hopefully, I mean, I guess we'll take a coin drop as well. But 100k we need, and we go right to the rev caves. Ooh, okay, finally, finally. I was getting so freaking nervous. <sighs> Still, I feel like I'm behind on alkables here. I'm 31 kills in, which isn't which isn't great, which isn't great. But, and then the next kill. This is what I'm talking about. I mean, these are great items for the fight. I feel like I'm going to just chuck these in the general store, which really hurts, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping revs will kind of just pay for itself with more rune full helms and rune kites, rune legs, dragon legs, black dehyde. All right, we need like one more decent drop and that's gonna be 100K in alkables. Run right to the wildy cell in that general store, boom, done. All right, we didn't get a big drop, but I did get a coin drop. We got some other rune drops, so I'm probably gonna chuck some runes to make up the difference for the 100k, I'd rather, again, get there just ASAP and just get coins. Get coins as fast as possible, but of course, we need to spend coins to get coins. So Wilderness, probably the quickest. We're going to use the Wilderness General Store because you get some, some high out value prices there. So that's where we're headed now. And we're out. We sold everything um, except an axe. Fuck, I wasted five of these soul runes. That's good for... Um, for Blood Barrage. I don't think I'll be going Blood Barrage, but I guess it would have been good to keep that. We, we still have an axe, so I guess I should have just chucked that as well. I'm trying to be as fast as possible. Um, I guess we gotta bank everything anyway. All right, so the first goal is to kill the lower leveled imps to go for a bracelet of Ethereum before I even try and attempt any of the higher leveled ones, because of course it absorbs like 90% of the damage and I don't really need any prayer at that point. Um, and the bracelet charges itself by just killing more Revenant, so it's the perfect, it's the perfect cycle. Um, these guys are, uh, as you can see, incredibly easy to kill. I mean, hitting a few zeros here. Um, okay, not the best demonstration, but the first two kills went fine. But there we go. 73 XP drop. That's what I'm talking about. And there it is, like, six kills in. So now we just literally charge it like that. We make sure the absorption is... Uh, is it on? Is it on? 
it's on. Boom. So the bracelet now charges itself. We should be able just to chill here. All right, let's see how I kill this orc. It's looking like it's going pretty good. This is why I'm pretty stoked about Carol's. Maybe Carol's would have been better to get second so I can spend more times at revs with Carol's. But hey, if I get Darox next, probably will be just as fun and just as exciting. Cool. So we're going to stick with the orcs. I'm a little nervous that a peak carry will come, but honestly, with only nine minutes left until I lose Carol's, I am going to risk it. Hey, two room plate legs. We're actually risking like an okay amount here now, but like I said, at least for the last six minutes with Carol's, we ain't going anywhere. And the last kill with Carol's is an alkable. Honestly, big mistake not dropping the looting bag in my bank. Uh, all right, fuck the cram then, because we are coming back. So while the timer's paused, before we spin again, I just wanted to show you that we have 282k worth of alkables already. Technically, it's more because I can get like room bars and then make those into bolts and then make onyx bolt tips and alchem if I'm getting really desperate for cash, fletch those. Um, I'm also wearing a bracelet of Ethereum. So long story short, we're making a ton of money back. Hello, Bs and Gs. There's not really much to say about this one until I've spun the wheel. So I'm going to go ahead, spin this bad boy and see what we are going to get for our first of three Guthans. Ooh, okay. All right. All right, guys, I think I've got my plan for my first thing. It's a bit of a weird one. So uh, let's start this clock and I will show you where I'm going. Um, we're going to go over to Canifis. Um, Yeah, we're going to use this telly just because I don't have a better one than that, I don't think. And I'm going to start killing crawling hands. Uh, the reason for this is they drop sapphire rings. So we'd literally just be able to enchant them um, and make recoils. Um, and also they just drop GP fairly commonly. Um, and I need to get some GP together because I want to kill gargoyles. Um, because this is such a good setup for gargoyles. Um, so yeah, we need 500 GP from the Crawling Hands so that we can buy the um, Rock Hammer. And yeah, I just thought, well, if I'm getting GP anyway, I might as well see if I can get some recoils together, you know? And this is another big bonus about the Crawling Hands. They drop these colored gloves. And they out for 300 each. So I can just sell this to a shop and get like... 200-ish, 220 GP per these, which is insane. Hey, there we go. There's the sapphire ring. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and sell these gloves off and get a rock hammer, and then we can go up and kill the gargoyles. I think that's... Oh, fuck, I didn't think about... Because I don't have a nose peg. What are they called? Aberrant Spectres. Oh, no. Okay. Gargoyles might be a no-no. Uh, I'm going to go and do ice trolls, because they drop the rune kite shield, rune war hammer armor um what's the best way to get some probably water birth and of course they drop sharks as well so they're just all around the best thing for me right now i think especially as i just don't know what i want to do um so yeah i'm just gonna kill the ice trolls and go from there hopefully we get a decent amount of gp from it as well i should probably sell this stuff off solid drop so far we've got an addy full helm and a steel plate body all right, I'm going to sell everything except one Addy Full Helm and ooh, I might even sell the Steel Plate Body, to be honest. Uh, obviously, we get high Alk value here or close to uh, 4K. Nice. Let's sell these, sell that. Could have sold these in Port Sarin, probably. That's enough to buy Rune Gloves. Uh, Sapphire can go, whatever. I know I'm sort of losing out a little bit there. Mithril Warhammer, I'm definitely not going to use as that. Lorins can go as well. Actually, really solid haul there. Um, I guess we'll see, sell the seaweed. Do I want the coal? I'll hold on to the coal just in case right now. Uh, cool. Let's go to Lumbridge. All right, there we go. Rune Gloves. And let's go to Berthorpe. Going to buy a few extra of these as well because I might use them in the fight. So it makes sense just to grab them now. Um, whether or not I'll use potato and cheeses as my food, I don't know. Um, I probably won't go ahead and buy those just now because I'm not completely sure. Uh, but let's definitely grab, let's grab two of those for the fight. And then we'll grab three of these so I can use one now. Actually, I'll, I'll probably grab quite a few of these to be honest. There's our first sharks, four of them. No rune kite shield, no granite shield either. 136 kills as well. 1 in 64 for the Rune Kite. 1 in 128 for the Granite Shield. So, should have seen either one of those, but haven't. Um, 30 seconds left here. Uh, we did get a load of items. 16 Sharks as well. So, at least I got some food together. 
um, that we can cook up at some point. We've got a load of money as well once we sell all this stuff. I will keep some of it until we get better upgrades, but uh, yeah, uh, that's going to be the last kill. Let's spin the wheel. We removed Carol from the wheel, so we can't get Carol again, of course. Let's see what we get next. Oh, I don't know what I want, honestly. I guess it would be... Cuffin. Gothin, Gothin, Gothin. Okay. I mean, I guess I did want Darrock. I did say that a million times, but Gothin, Gothin will do. I am going to get a seed pod because I want to be able to tell he passed 20 Wildy. And uh, yeah, I don't want to lose my Guthins and I want to save all my loot. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys about the best part about Guthins, the amazing set effect. I can heal 10 HP over my base HP level with the Amulet of the Damned. So it that actually genuinely might be the most useless one. Although the healing effect might be pretty good here. I imagine the kills are going to be pretty slow. No, I don't think I can kill the orc. Uh, I might just try hobgoblins again and just see how quick I can kill those. And if if they're dying way too quick, then we bump it up. If not, then we just uh, stay put. Look at that spicy HP level. It's funny. We got roasted in the carols by one person. Will we get roasted in the guthins? Because this is even more embarrassing. I was getting so nervous I wasn't going to get any black dragon hide. I should have killed dragons with the carols. I should have. I mean, it's, it's obviously possible for me to kill dragons like this, but it wouldn't it wouldn't really go down too well. So I'm stoked to see that. It's like one in 90 as well. And these guys, I mean, I'm killing them kind of quick, but I was hoping they'd be a little bit faster. All right, screw this. I got an idea. That's a little bit too slow for me. It's a little bit too slow for me. And I have an idea that I can make some money with some alcables. All right, so let's sell our alcables. Then we're going to get some basic combat gear. We're going to get some Barrow's gloves. We're going to get some climbing boots. And we're actually going to go for an attack cape because the next plan I have is Cyclopses, specifically killing the ones down in the dungeon that can give a dragon defender. Even if we don't get it, we could still get some decent alcables that give some money and they can get us some upgrades like a helmet, Nessie Knot and stuff because we will need more money on top of the money that we're about to get right now as well. We should get over like 250k from this. We are going to hop worlds and whatnot to maximize. Always try to maximize. There are the Barrow's Gloves. And there are the Climbing Boots. And with 127k left over, we're going to get that Attack Cape. So my buy a Skill Cape of Attack. Skill Cape. I would gladly pay as much as that. Not really, to be honest. God, we still need to get things like a dragon scimitar. But I mean, we have an hour and a half and this is still going to give us some money. And the good thing about Guthins is that we don't have to bank for anything because we're going to have food. We have tokens. Uh, food meaning we don't need food because the Guthins will heal us, of course. So we should be able just to camp down here indefinitely. Oh my god, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it with five minutes to spare of Guthins. <laughs> Holy shit. <gasps> oh my god. Ah, oh, I can't even talk. I can't even talk. This is day two, so I think I'm like 50... 50-ish something kills in. I don't know exactly, but it's definitely around that. I'm fucking buzzing! Since we're here, we're also just gonna buy some pots. I'm still unsure if I'm actually gonna bring these. We'll just buy two of each so we can get a 4 dose for the fight. Um, I usually hate these pots because I was like, is it worth an angler? But probably, probably is, probably is. All right, we're back here just to sell some stuff off to the shop again. We actually brought the rune legs. We had one pair of rune legs left over that I was thinking of like, oh, maybe am I going to use it? Absolutely not. If I'm bringing the black dehyde body, probably buy a rune plate and then bring tank legs along with it. Ooh, nice to just reset. I mean, in all honesty, you know what? Ah, oh, I hate this place. I hate this place with a burning passion. We gotta hop anyway. I was hoping to get a knife there, but they don't actually sell a knife. You probably see that magic log in my inventory. That is for the magic shortbow that I plan on bringing to the fight. Now, we did get that killing revs, and of course, we can use shop. So I want to buy a knife, cut this, and then I'm going to kill spiritual rangers in order to get the bowstring so I can actually complete the bow, because of course, we need to string it as well. Um, and we can't pick up blacks off the ground. I guess it doesn't really matter where we go. I know there's a knife here, so we'll just pick this up over here um, and cut this real quick. And then, I mean, oh, we have a minute until we literally change gears, which is really, really, really annoying. Let's hope it's something like Darok, though. That would be the most ideal. Since we have a minute to spare with shitty Guthins, I'm going to just buy the Dragon Simi now. So if I have, like, Darok, I'm wasting less time running around and using more time actually using the item set. So... I mean, dude, I still need so much more money. I'm going to just run down this last 15 seconds because I can't do anything without changing my gear anyway. 
So, yeah, at least we got the Simi. We still need the Nezzy, like a Dragon Dagger. Um, there's got to be something else we need to purchase as well with a lot of money. I mean, we might hit up Revs again, and we do also have this we can sell as well. I wanted to keep it just in case I do have to hit up Revs again, which I might because I think I'm a little short on food. All right, let's spin this wheel and see what we are... Oh, man. <laughs> It's like the two worst ones. Guthans and Torag. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Let's go get full Torag. All right. Let's start the timer again. I am not happy. Not happy at all um, with what we've got here, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, I am going to go get myself a few items during this hour. I'm going to get some climbing boots. I should have got them last time I was in Berthorpe, to be honest. Uh, grab some climbing boots for that strength bonus. I'm going to get the Mids Cape, which is just another item for the fight and also helps uh, with its crush bonus. And obviously, we're using the Torag hammers, which are crush. Boom. There is a room Warhammer. Uh, <laughs> Will I use that? Probably not, but it's a good Alk, which gives us some options to buy some stuff. Um, I am thinking about going and killing Temple Spiders, because they drop room meds pretty commonly. Um, they also drop Weapon Poison Plus, um, which would be quite an interesting thing to bring. I mean, what do you think about bringing an Anti-Poison? Possibly. Uh, they also do drop Anti-Poison, Super Anti-Poison, so I would have my Anti-Poison from them. They also drop Water Runes, Cosmic Runes, so I would be able to um, make my Ring of Recoil as well. So Temple Spiders might be where I go next. I do just want to get a full inventory of Sharks. 31 Sharks total, so I'm going to go over to the Temple Spiders now. I was thinking about what Kins might possibly be doing, and I know how much he loves going to the Slayer Cave, the Wildy Slayer Cave, and, you know, doing his stuff over there and getting his... Uh, blighted stuff. There's super anti-poison, which I probably will take those to the fight. This is a very easy fight to get poison together, so I probably will bring that. Uh, and yeah, we'll just see how this goes. And I'll be using the house tellies to get my prayer back. There it is. Kill seven. Kill seven. It's one in 50. Why couldn't I get super lucky with the rune kite or something like that? Okay, got 51k and I am out of there. I've got a new idea. We are going to Mount Curlum because we are going to kill um, Hydras. I have just thought that maybe they are a solid idea. Yeah, okay, probably not worth it. They've got 160 crush defense. They just, that took so long just to get one kill for 80 water runes. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we've got fire battle stuff. I am going to dip from that though. It is just way too slow. Not worth it. Not worth it. Uh, I think I go back to Temple Spiders. They were so good. They were so good. They were really solid money. Um, Fire Battle stuff's decent, though. I will not grumble at that at all. Got a fucking grubby key, but we cannot use that in this challenge because uh, that would involve skilling. I'd have to uh, thieve the, uh, the gate to get in there. So, nope, not for me. Hey, we got the Cosmic Runes. So, let's go ahead and make this recoil there we go uh also thinking about trying to get an, am an amulet together because we've got these cosmic runes now all right i'm just going to spend the last six minutes of my torag hour killing undead druids if we can get a defense army or a strength army then you know that's all right i might even get a magic army and then you know if i do end up going magic by some weird reason then i have a magic army to use as well so i just thought it was a good idea Sitting here, we got unlimited prayer with the altar right there, so it just makes sense. We should be able to fend off all of the melee attacks pretty fine. And obviously with the Amulet of the Damned and the whole Torag set, we actually get more and more tanky the more hits we take. So yeah, I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> 30 seconds left and we pull the Amulet of Strength. Incredible. That is what you want to see. Are we going to get another kill here? I guess don't think so but i will try and pull it off oh we do get it and i'm gonna stop the clock boom we got some cosmic runes nice okay uh, i didn't really need them already had a load anyway let's stand here so that we can see what i am gonna get for my next item we took off guthins and carols now let's see what we get Beric. Uh, better than Torag, 
I would say I'd rather either our Madarok. A little annoying. Probably means I can bring, actually definitely means I can bring the Varric Skirt to the fight, which would be a really, really great addition, considering I don't even have a super, um, a super restore pot just yet. I, I want that as well. There's so many things that are going through my mind, but Varric, you know what? I was just hoping for not Torag, and we didn't get Torag, so I'll take it. So I forgot that going to God Wars Dungeon would actually be a little bit difficult because I can't actually wear any gear to any specific god in the helm, body, leg, and weapon slot, or even shield slot because we have to keep the, um, the Varix on. So we can actually go to these rangers down here, which unfortunately it's a, it's a little bit rarer. Instead of like 1 in 7, it's like 1 in 25. But with Varix and my 32 prayer bonus, which actually is the effect, you get like an extra plus 9 prayer with... The Amulet of Damned on top of the Varix, which is pretty insane considering Varix already gives a hefty bonus. But again, for the sake of this challenge, probably not really needed. Um, I, I didn't even mean to come to this world over here, but I mean, maybe I can stay here. So I take less damage. There doesn't seem to be many Rangers, which is stressing me out already, but has to be done. Has to be done. Because if he goes magic or something and I don't have an MSB in the fight, then it's going to be messy. It's going to be real messy. Oh my god, finally. It's noted as well. Dude, maybe the Varix actually came in handy because I've been like rapid healing and flicking between prayers. I have 15 HP. Uh, 29 kills that took. So I was a little over dropper, but it's fine. Um, let's go make the bow. Let's actually head over to... Where do I want to go? Let's go to Alcarid. Let's actually make the Dehide. I want to buy a Sapphire. I want to make... Um, I want to make a ring. There's a shop here for Cosmics. I've gotten gold bars from Necrols, so we can make the ring no problem. So Black Dead Body, Ring of Recoil. All right, let's make these Sapphire Rings. Enchant them real quick. I actually bought an extra Cosmic Rune too in case I get my hands on a necklace. Probably should have made a defense amulet or something at the very least, but uh, oh yeah, we already have those tanned. Um, and boom, we do that. There's a Black Dead Body. Make that. It's all coming together, okay. I got to go back to revs. I need to make money. I need to make money. Money is going to be my main priority right now. And we need to buy things like a Nezi, Dragon Dagger, uh, Rune Arrows. Still a lot to do in only 43 minutes. Oh my god, we needed to buy one of these. But not anymore. And it's also a Fat Elk. Perfect. Perfect. Can we please just get a Super Restore now? That'd be lovely. All right, big change of plans, and we're starting off by chucking all this stuff in the general store. I did get an extra set of um, room plate bodies here. I'm not even going to bother hopping. I'm just going to sell three. Again, we're going to keep one, sell two of those. That's plenty of money. Let's get out of here. Let's buy a Nezi, a Dragon Dagger, uh, and some Rune Arrows, and then we're going to kill Calvarion. All right, we're also going to buy a Myth's Cape just because it gives good crush and it's going to help us during Calvarion. I totally forgot that he's weak to crush and Varix is probably a really, really good item set or Barrow set, I should say, to ultimately kill him. And I can kill him fairly confidently without dying because it is under 30 wildy and I could one tick the seed pod. So I'm going to risk a little bit. I have some decent experience there, and I think I'll be all right. All right, I'm just grabbing the Nates' knots I have out of the bank just so I can actually talk to this guy, and so he sells me one. So it should be 50k, exactly. Yeah, mislaid it. Very well, I accept. Uh, one. Oh my god, you could just buy as many as you want. Look at that. Maybe I didn't need to drop it then. I would have loved to buy a skill cape of ranging instead, but, you know, for, for obvious reasons, I how to go for the attack cape and i guess i could still technically buy it but mm, it just takes too much time to go back to the jenny sell my last few bit of items that i can scrounge to the bank that i got we're literally going like this we don't have much but what he drops is pretty crucial super combats which are going to be astronomical for the fight i was thinking of plans where i can actually make pots like super attack super strength super defense it's all very possible to make with the mixture of drops and shops. Ooh, that rhymes. But the problem with that is it does take time and I have 23 minutes. And also, I'm a little short on food for a full inventory. Calvarion can sort us out completely. 100% completely. And I don't know what's going on here. So, Rarg, oh, I'm sorry, dude. I am so sorry. I'm going to have to hop. Um, but we can get Sand Food Serums too, possibly. So I don't have to worry about any sort of poisoning on his end. That acts as a super restore. I can get super combats. I can get food. I can get all these things that I could bring to the fight. The problem is I have 22 minutes. But it's a pretty common drop. I just need to find an empty world. And it should be smooth sailing. 
I know I can get a decent amount of kills. So fingers crossed. The cave is empty. Let's roll. All right, little rusty, but really quick first kill with the Varix, the Prayer, hitting through armor, Limport Roots, not what I wanted, but I can actually make a super strength with that, all things all things considered. Okay, because I do have a Quarm, can buy from shops. So the last few minutes, if I have to do that, I totally will. So we tell you like that, we go back to our house, regen stats, and just go right back. I don't even think I'm going to even bank unless I get something worth, I mean, I guess I probably should bank. Two kills that trip, 60 in Harweeds and a magic seed. Decent loot, not what I need, not what I need. Oh, okay, super restores, super restores. No, I mean, I'd rather super combats, I think, because I could make the prayer pot pretty easily, but mm, all right, all right, all right, all right, I'll take it. This is going to be the last kill, unless it's a super combat, because I need to make a strength pot. Oh, man. Never lucky. No, nah, I mean, I would say... We've had okay luck this episode. I think the defender is the big selling point here. Thankfully, the food situation, I'd be like one or two short if I um, got the super combat because that actually saves inventory spots. So the food's actually fine. I have 17 mances, five blighted crams, and three anglers. Uh, well, they're all blighted actually. Okay, so we literally have 48 seconds. We have everything we need in the bank. We just need to get a vial of water from the general store. Probably shouldn't be cutting it this close, but I mean... It worked out. It worked out just perfectly. Oh my god. I also didn't even get a necklace, guys. Ah, I really wanted the super combats. I, I, I honestly thought that that would be the biggest play here. And I didn't realize that Calvarian was an option until there was like, you know, 30 minutes left. All right, I just spoke to Kins and he said that he took off any armor pieces or armor sets that he got already. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Apply those changes. Cool. So we're down to Arim, Darok, Carol, and Varric. Let's see what we're going to get. I think I, I don't, I'd, I'd like Darok's, to be honest. And uh, we get Varric. Oh, uh, I genuinely think I've spun the three worst ones. And I don't know why the time is going. I will reset that to an hour. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, I, I genuinely think I have got the three worst ones. Because with... Carol, you can say spot. Aram, you can say spot. And you can kill a load of things that you normally, you know, can't really. Darok, you can go Darok bombing. And, you know, it's very efficient in certain places, like Giant Mole and stuff like that. Varric, Guthans, and Torag, you're just sort of tanky, but you're hitting really shit. <laughs> okay. I might have shot down the Varric set a little bit too early, to be fair. Um, I am going to go and try Hydras again, because we have a 25% chance of a guaranteed hit. Um, and we should be able to just tear through them, to be honest. We still have a high range defense. Um, and I'll just come a little bit more prepared this time. So I'm going to start the clock. Then I'm going to trade here and get an anti-poison. Um, and then we'll go to Berthop, get some food, and then fire on over to the Hydras. So... Let me start this time up. Boom. Buy one of those bad boys. I'll buy two. Just so we've got enough. And yet, yeah, over to Berthold now. And then to the Hydras. Interesting drop there. Water battle staff. It's almost telling me. Telling me to go with Ice Barrage. I mean, we've got the money for it. I just know Kins. I just know Kins. He will... He will never not turn up to a PvP challenge with some sort of like black dehyde switch or red dehyde. And it's just so fucking frustrating. It is so frustrating. In good news, I'm absolutely slapping up the uh, the Hydras. Um, and the, the Amulet of the Damned, great courses I'm trying to show you this, uh, gives an extra seven prayer bonus with this set. So the prayer just lasts forever as well, uh, which is really, really nice. Uh, so yeah, this is actually working really well. I'll see what I can get out of it and uh, Yeah, if we can make a load of money then Maybe maybe I go like full messed up mage But I'd have to really get lucky with the drops and literally as I <laughs> as I turn the uh, recording off we get a super combat dose which obviously overrides everything else that I uh, was gonna bring in terms of attacks super uh, attack Strength pot and the defense pot. I'll be bringing that instead. Saves me two inventory slots, which is nice. Um, and again, now I'm swayed back to melee. 
All right, this is probably going to be my last kill for now. What I need to do is I need to go and buy a load of items, put stuff together. 48 death runes, not really what I wanted to see. Uh, yeah, I want to, like, sort everything out, cook my sharks, buy the items I want, all that stuff before I do any more killing. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of that now. And then hopefully come back for some more Hydras for the last 20 minutes or so. So I'm going to be going down the Dragon Dagger and Dragon Mace route. I just, I have to, I have to do it. 25k left over. The Dragon Mace, it's four tick these days. It's a solid weapon. It just has to, it has to be the one. I'm going to cook my sharks right here as well. Mm, am I? Nah, I'm going to go to Sidious. I can't remember whether or not this guarantees no burns. It obviously doesn't. Um, but I got 31 of them, and obviously we're taking an anti-poison. I think I'm going to take the anti-poison. We're taking the super combat potion as well, so we don't need to actually cook all of them perfectly, which is nice to have that little buffer. Boom. We only burnt one, so this is going to be easy. And there we go. 30 or 29 cook sharks, so more than enough. Ooh, we got some black dehyde chaps. Don't think I'll be using them, but... Hmm... Makes you think, though, doesn't it? Makes you think. Right, I'm out, guys. I am out of there. 31 minutes left. I am going to do some greater neck reels now to try and get a rune square shield. Apologies on the next clip, guys. I uh, got a rune medhelm drop, and for whatever reason, the recording just started halfway through me talking about it. But I effectively am contemplating whether or not to alk it. I don't know if I'll end up selling it to buy some like rune plate legs or something, uh, but it's nice to have that option either way. Yeah, guys, I am going to go ahead and out this. I've just looked at the stats compared to an Addy Full Helm, which we got uh, multiple of them from the Ice Trolls, uh, and it's negligible. It's like three stats less. I'd much rather get myself some uh, room plate legs together because right now we are looking pretty bad in the plate legs department. I'm definitely going to go with like a Torag body or something. Um, so, yeah, definitely doing that. Hopefully, we can pull like a Rune SQ. Room boots from here would be really nice. <laughs> I was just looking at the wiki on how much it was going to cost me to get a room full helm. And there we go. Still no shield, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, I'm very, very happy to see that. Really, really nice. Um, this is probably going to be one of the last kills. And then I'm going to start selling loads of stuff. I've still got a few things in the bank that I need to take out on Alk. I'm going to sell all of these runes and more runes. I've got those Cosmics. I've got the Water Battle Staff. More Blood Runes in the bank. Sell all of those to the Magic Guild. Uh, just so we have the max amount of cash. We need 64k to buy, um... Rune plate legs, which I, I I already have by like 10, 20k over at the moment. It's just whether or not I can buy anything else that I'm not thinking about. An Addy kite shield, that is an upgrade as well. Getting sorted out in this clip. Really, really nice. All right, buy the rune plate legs. 22k left over. Don't really have anything to spend that on. I'm going to go to Crawling Hands quickly and see if I can pull a second ring of recoil. Um, I do have some waters in the bank. I've got some chaos or cosmic runes that I didn't need to sell. So I just thought, why not keep them? So yeah, we'll probably get three minutes to try and get a, uh, a sapphire ring here. It's looking like we are not going to get this five, four. If I get a sapphire ring and I can't even, oh, if I get one here, I'm going to cry. Okay, at least we didn't get one. Uh, there we go. I will show you my setup, guys. I really find it funny how I was stressing about food when I completely forgot that a lot of my inventory would just not be food, but a lot of the stuff we're filling up our inventory with is very crucial. The vengeance, the recoil, the restore, the magic defense, the spec weapon I was actually iffy about. I would say the most annoyed thing about my inventory is not having a super combat because that's better DPS and it saves an inventory spot. We also could have gotten range pots from Calvarion too. I really wish it went there earlier, but is what it is. There's a lot of things we had to sacrifice. Uh, one of those being a necklace, which little annoyed I didn't get because it is a pretty easy upgrade even if it's just like a strength ammy but I was so distracted on other things and I figured the Calvarion send would have been worth it but at least we did get the restore I guess we could have made Renard pass but even that would have taken a few minutes and it's it's very hard to juggle in the moment what the best decision is of course in hindsight since I didn't get the super combat it would have been better just to like 
farm herbs and make a super set, you know? But it is what it is. Uh, as you guys could see, the one piece I decided to take from all three of my sets is the Varric Skirt. The reason behind that is I can still throw this on for really good hefty magic defense and attack with range with it. If I brought like a Guthrum's Plate body, it would definitely make switches a little bit more difficult. Um, and honestly, the difference between this and Rune Legs versus this and a Barrow's tank of any kind really isn't that different. So, um, figured this was the best move. Also, we get some hefty prayer bonus, so we should be good on the only one super restore. It's fucking 11. You love to see that. But yeah, is what it is, guys. And I will see you in the fight. I'm feeling okay about this one. All right, guys, this is the setup. I'm pretty happy with it for what we did. Um, and yeah, didn't get Carol's or Arim, so neither of those are really on the table in terms of going a different combat style other than melee. Um, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. I was gonna bring the black dehyde chaps that I got, but then I, somehow in this setup, I have zero magic defense. So, I mean, worst case scenario, he comes out with magic and I just take off, you know, a few things here. Let's just see, like, if I, if I take all of this off. Like, if he was going magic and I did that, I mean, we're rocking a 12 plus magic defense. That's pretty solid and, like, still maintaining everything aggressive. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, obviously, I had a full inventory of sharks that I've just banked, but obviously, I'll be taking them. I am going to take the super anti-poison. I think it's just a very easy way to get poison. You could, you could do it in a lot of different ways. Magic, range, and melee all can be poisonable. So, yeah. Uh, whether he does it or not, I don't know. We got that one dose super combat potion as well, and then the uh, recoil, which I should actually check. And yeah, I do have 40 points in there. Linky boy, three hours have come and gone. Three different barrow sets. How you feeling? Yeah. Uh, I think I got the three worst ones. <laughs> oh my god. Really? Yeah, I got Thorag, Guthans, and Varric. Ooh. So I got no mage, no range, and I couldn't debomb anything. Uh, I literally wait. just spent three hours meleeing. I got two of those three. Really? Yeah. Okay. What did you get? Carols. Ah. Oh. Then I got Gothins, which even even the set effect is like complete garbage. Oh, it's pointless. Like having like the end of the day. Yeah, it's like. Uh, and then I had Varix, which, I mean, I guess Varric still okay. kind of pointless, but having like a 32 prayer bonus did feel nice with like all my gear on. But yeah, yeah I, I think, well, I, I think, think Darok, Aram, and Carol were the best. Yeah. And the Carol effect is actually pretty naughty, dude. Yeah, the double it's like the 25% yeah. chance of a double hit. That's half of what yeah. you hit. But um, yeah, I, I kept thinking that. Darok and Carol were the best, and then Aram mm. too, depending on what you wanted to do. Like, if you wanted yeah, Aram's yeah, or yeah. something, you know, you definitely yeah. would have wanted that Aram's. But, uh, wow, the three worse, no way. I, uh, yeah. No I, I way. effectively just spent three hours meleeing like I was, like, a normal PvP, you know? I was just in different gear. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so, I don't know. I think I did okay for what I got given, but we'll see. I, I think we'll I see. did all right. I got a few flaws in my plan, but, um... I say we start this reveal, Link. Oh, let's do it, man. Let's do it. You want to give us an item? Uh, let's go gloves. Okay, okay. Surely he's got... Oh, he was struggling for cash. Yeah, dude. Oh, oh he was uh, struggling for cash. It was, it was not good. It was not good. Okay. I didn't go to the Wildy, and I did talk about this. I was like, he's probably gone to the Wildy. He fucking loves the Wildy. I did. I've been loving yeah. the. I've been loving all the Wildy updates. Like, I'll be honest. I was like killing Wildy bosses. I was killing rats. <laughs> Dude, so okay. The first part of my plan was to get like the hundred K together, and fuck me, mm. dude. That took a lot of my first my first like 45 minutes of carol i had carol right. first and i thought i wasted it and i'm there stressing because to kill revenants i guess it's either carol or darok you'd probably want yeah um but yeah so i you know got 15 minutes of carols there and dude i made like 250k or something in 15 minutes with carol brilliant in right. <laughs> so Ooh, yeah <laughs> i think i made like 150k total oh my god okay all right let's go home <laughs> let's go home <laughs> gonna have a Nezzy. 
I am gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> Most of my drops are drops. <laughs> really? Say. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I do, I do have some drop drops. Um, okay, but right. uh, let's go legs, mate. Oh, you're gonna dragon. see. Please. Please no, dragon. no, no! I did not get that. I decided to. Oh wow! Bring my barrels. Must have got something item. decent in the old body slot there. Ooh, makes me think you're going a bit tanky on the top. So let's go. Let's go body. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're correct. Take a tall rag. Okay. 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 So I decided to do this instead. Just in case you decided, yeah, it's just the yeah, easiest switch. Yeah, I went on a switch. fucking rant. I went on a rant. I got a water battle staff as a drop, and I was like, oh, I want to go magic. And I was like, but I know he's going to bring a fucking black beehive body because he fucking loves doing that. <laughs> Always got to have it, dude. Always got to yeah. have it. I'm glad it worked Dickhead. in this case, I guess. Dickhead. Well, I guess I could have not bring him in just, you, you know, completely... Yeah. But your you track out. record stopped me going magic. So, yeah. yeah, but Link, I'm I'm happy to tell you that I got that as a drop. I didn't, I didn't buy the rune really Easy, mate. I tried Thanks. to get one, but no dice. Um, your pick. Let's go boots. Okay. Yeah. Pretty standard. Pretty Fine standard. Pretty standard, pretty standard. Yeah. Uh, let's go shield. Ooh, I like this one. I like this one. Oh, are you fucking with me? Oh no. Fuck! Did it cross your mind, did you? It it, no, it did. It, it did, did. But I didn't I didn't have enough money to get um an oh, attack the key. Cape, and I didn't Oh wanna... the money problem. Yeah, so Oh Lee. <laughs> oh, Link. That's not ideal. It's not It's ideal. not. Okay. It's not. Let's go cape. I mean you get another cape I got now, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, let's go ring. I have two recoils. I have one recoil. Dude, yeah. I killed. I don't know how you got your recoils together, but I killed 178 crawling hands. And it's one in 64 <laughs> for a sapphire ring. I only got one. Oh my god. So I started off at um, Necrol's. Mm. And I got the gold bar drops, and then I just bought a sapphire, bought a cosmic rune. Right. Yeah. I I mean that was like the first thing I did, and I was actually a bit nervous. I'm like, how do I get one? How do I get one? I'm like, oh my god, I have gold bars in the fucking bank right now. Right. Yeah. So it it I oh I almost forgot that, but um here link here's where I really messed up. Let's go let's go necklace. Okay. Don't have one. Just completely kind of Just forgot totally to get forgot. one. No, wow. I, I didn't like totally, totally forget. I had like 20 minutes on the clock and I was just so focused on trying to get something, which you'll figure out in, in a while. And I was like, I'm going for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it because I don't want to switch and then go for a necklace and then not get it. I'm like, right. we're, I'm like we're going to stay here. We're going to stay here. And we ended up not getting either. So, <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Here we are. Uh -huh. Yeah. I got mine from undead druids. Most of my yeah. shit is just drops because I was like, I can't make money. I'm fucked. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I mean that. So, yeah. The will. The will. sorted me out, obviously. Yeah. Which is which is great. I've just got a weapon. Um. Same. Same. I have three okay. weapons. <laughs> I have two. Okay. Okay. Thank God. All right. He's gonna have a decent. It's got. It's gotta be a decent. Surely. On. On go. Three. Two. One. Go. Oh my god, Link, how fucked were you for cash? What, what I would say, though, is I do have the um, crush bonus of the cape. So this is actually only one stat off a D-Sim in terms of attack. Obviously, it doesn't have the same strength bonus. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I can save the money here and only be one attack down. It's like, whatever, crush. Crush is my one weakest minus. melee. I'll and I now. thought, if he goes plate body, I was expecting you to go Barra's plate body. And I was like, the plate bodies are weaker to crush. It's a good substitute in terms of money. So I was like, I have to do it. I have to, you know? Mm -hmm. It had to happen. It has to go. Otherwise, <laughs> uh, it has to. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the room plate length. So, yeah. I think it was a pretty smart choice overall. Obviously, I would have rather a sim, but... When you're... I mean, it's it's half the price of a simmy, which... Yeah. It, yeah that's yeah, the yeah. biggest selling point. And then you have 50k to, to spend elsewhere, of course. Yeah. So... Um, all right. And I also have... This 
Okay. Just in case you were like, well, yeah, I mean, okay. Now it's, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, now, <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, yeah. in terms of, I'm trying to assess the situation for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I waste a lot of inventory spots, Link, is, yeah. Uh, and, like and this. I do Ooh. unpoisoned, but. I have a Dragon Dagger P. Plus. What drop the poison? Uh, temple spiders. Right, right, right. They're also decent cash, water runes, cosmic runes, so I was like, fuck it, we'll go here. Okay, okay. Uh, I did bring a super anti, so I am wasting a spot for that. Oh, thank you fuck, might. dude. Holy yeah. shit. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so I am wasting a spot there. All right. Okay. I have 150 rune arrows. Mm -hmm. I said, let's get our inventory together and let's take a look at All that. Right. So the last thing wait, I was wait. doing that I sacrificed not getting a, um, a necklace for was I was killing Vetion Link to try to go for the oh, super combats, the Sanfu serums, mm -hmm. uh, and I also sacrificed not getting very easy pots because you know it's not oh, that hard to shit. get together. So I was only able to get a super strength together. Okay. Um, did not get the drop. Did get one blighted restore though, which I'll okay, happily I, um... take. And then that and that, as you know. Fuck it, that's a lot. Of it's a lot. Slots. It's a lot. And uh, you know, uh, you you know, I'll have this. That's another fucking slot. <laughs> Yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah, slots, yeah. I was dude. expecting it. Um, I actually managed to get a one dose super combat, oh. which I'm quite happy about. Um, oh, which saves that's... me a lot because I was originally going with Warriors Guild attack strength and uh, defense. So and it takes yeah. up three fucking spots. That's the biggest and it's problem. It's double as good. It's double yeah. as good as well. So yeah. Um, and then I just killed Ice Trolls to try and get a Rune Kite Granite Shield. Mm. But... Right. While I was in Torag and Guthans, I was like, this is probably not a bad shout. Yeah. Okay. Um, is, is the Torag effect noticeable at all with the extra defense? I've always like... Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's so dog, mate. It's so dog. Because you got to remember things use magic and 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 then the, the magic things were fucked. Um, and then the ice trolls, they hit through armor if you're not wearing like yak hide and crap oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that like Fremnix shield yeah. too. Yeah. Um... So, anyway, yeah, I got all my food from there. Um, interesting thing about the Blighted Anglerfish is they had that update, so you can't actually overheal during PvP. I know, annoying, but... So, they're, they're not they're not massive, but um, it's tight. This is tight. I think the Vengeance is big for you. Yeah, uh, with that much food, uh, hopefully the second recoil is actually worth bringing as well. But, yeah. you will, I mean, yeah, you, don't, yeah, yeah. You, you don't have a prayer pot, which... Kind of I don't. I didn't think I needed one. I was like, I'll just flick fucking piety. Like, Fair. I'm all good. No, I could have got a got one, but no. Nah. All right. So yeah, let's do this. Cool, dude. Um, I got a few pots. I have to guzzle. So let me know, and I should start drinking those. Yeah. Uh, go for it now, mate. Go for all it right. now. All right. We are we are guzzling. Guzzling. He's guzzling down. I'm all good right. whenever, dude. All right, dude. Two second warning begins now. Scared me for a sec. A little delay on that attack, like. Ooh! Fucking 31! You poisoned me though. Fucking like oh, instantly, that's bro. What I like to hear. Uh, oh, my oh Venge, Rog, Venge, Venge. Oh my god. Oh shit. He's Venge Ooh. just at the right time there. Fuck me. Okay. It was planned. It was All calculated, right. Link. It was calculated. Very calculated. Oh, that fight I don't like kick. that poison. So I don't like so that poison. What dude, I never insta poison when I bring <laughs> I'm almost like desensitized to not bring it anymore because it's like, yeah. oh I'm gonna put nine DDS specs in and he's not gonna die. <laughs> okay, I'm not as accurate as I thought I'd be, which I'm kinda not stoked about. Hopefully my poison makes up for your fucking venge. Oh, oh yes. No kids, no. Come on. I actually kind of want you to hit big that fucking poison. There we go. Lovely. Break the venge and then a 30. No. Uh, okay. Don't ask for too much, Link, all right? <laughs> oh, speaking of 30s. Uh, that defender's so huge. Ooh, oh my god. That could have been it. Oh, get oh him, Rar, get God. him! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I've got to stay high. I've got to stay high. Yeah, like, I'd like weed too, all right? But now's not the time to talk about marijuana, all right? Can we have a weed break? We can, we can. <laughs> Someone's yeah, got to hit the bomb. Be happy. 
<laughs> oh, dude, that th this like restore pot isn't even like worth it. I'll be honest. I'm still 46. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh my god. Um, I'm starting to hit a little bit more now. The poison's ticked one lower. I'm feeling I'm feeling a little better now. Let's let's repot. I haven't hit in fucking ages. Oh. <laughs> I guess it was a break of the venge, but Bro hit! He's got a plate body on. How hard is it to hit with a fucking massive ball? <laughs> <laughs> with spikes. Legit, I sort it out. Here he comes. Serious. Nice. Oh, definitely eat. Definitely eat. You know what the problem is? Like, I I keep checking that my recoil is still there, and I'll keep checking. I'll keep checking. I'll keep checking. And then the moment I stop checking, it's gonna oh fucking God. break. Oh, I'm on oh, train. Oh, right, right, right. Brilliant. Yeah. Again, again, again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that was like a 28, 32, 22. Like, what? <laughs> it's the rune fleet, dude. It's, it's like it. I'm not wearing fucking armor. Uh, come on. I don't think it's even worth using the drain dagger. I might as well use the fucking mace spec. Throw on a cheeky little mace spec. Three, that's good venge. That's good venge. Fuck. Yeah, by the time I hit again, you have fucking venge back. Right? That's true. It's three seconds. I'm already ready to click it. Oh god. Oh, okay. A one. A fucking one. <laughs> He's so not happy. <laughs> I can't get the luck anywhere, dude. Drops. Fucking spins. Hits. I'm just. I'm done. I'm done, ski. Oh. Bang. Okay. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Got oh, Ooh. fucking hell. Okay. Oh, Out my God. Nowhere. Link, pipe down, Out bro. Nowhere. Yeah, dude. Chill, man. It ain't that deep, bro. <laughs> it is. I've been fucking getting battered here. Torag plate body. It's got holes in it everywhere, apparently. Here yeah, your, your arms are a bit exposed. I've always wondered how that gives good defense, you know? With your arms being that kind of... Mm. Like, I just, like, slash the arms a little bit, you know? Rune should be like fucking mush. I was out. Link, five food. So it wasn't like my inventory was way too full. I, dude, I'm I'm here thinking he could go magic and like melee hybrid, and my guy just yeah. shows up in in melee <laughs> and a full inventory of food. Oh, ah. all right, Link. That is another one, guys. Link uploaded yesterday, so go over there and watch his upload right after this one, and I and we'll uh, see you guys over there.